feel I'm on the right path. I know I have to leap this year. I love it. I feel the stepping stones you told me about. Good catching me, but have to trust that I'll leap at the right time. Yes, you will leap at the right time. Um, trust it continuously. If you decide and you decide to trust yourself, what it means is you just tell yourself, you remind yourself, I, I absolutely trust myself. I will absolutely be guided when I need to be and just stay open. And you'll be amazed at what comes through. Like half the stuff that I get guided to, I never would have planned with my logical mind. You know, not to say I don't do goals like I'm, you know, I've got a set goal. I'll share it another time around my book that I want to uh, publish, self-publish. Um, so obviously there's goal. There's a there's a structure there, but not in terms of, oh, I need to do this word count on this day. Like that's not how I do it. Right. So letting go and just being really fluid around things and it will allow you to be um, responsive, not reactive they're saying responsive it's a very different energy reactive is you're on a path oh my god this shit's come in oh my god you need to react and go here and you're freaking out responsive is just i'm on my path i'm i'm being flexible oh this thing's come in and change the plan okay i'm going to move over here i'm going to respond so all we can do is respond to what is like in our immediate field right and this is why We've got to kind of, yes, hear all, you know, we might hear the what ifs, this could happen, this could happen in our country, this could happen, this could happen. But we can only deal with it if it comes into our reality. And then even then we have choices. So it's really just bringing it back to now um, and trusting that if you are constantly in the now, letting go of all the other things and constantly asking yourself every moment, what now, what, what now in this moment? you will, to go back to, I think Darlene, you were saying it, you can trust yourself to get things done because every now moment will require something different. So let's imagine that you're tuning in and you think, oh, I'm really tired. So your now moment is asking you to rest. So you rest. And then maybe after that, what's now? Oh, my now moment is saying I need to eat. So you eat. Well, now what? Oh, now now I feel, oh, I feel like I need to rest a bit more. So you rest. And then maybe after you've rested, your now moment will eventually become, oh, I kind of want to take that action and I want to do this thing. Because when you're rested and restored, your soul is so expansive. Your soul is never going to go, oh, let's just rest forever and become this lazy person. This is what our mind worries about. Like we'll just become this lazy, complacent person and we'll never get anything done. Your soul by nature is expansive and it wants to do and be and move forward. Your higher self is just like waiting <laughs> for you to, to be expanding into your next step. So you can really trust. So I had this, uh, my own practice today, I was very resistant to resting. I really, cause I felt like I said on the 4th, right? <laughs> so <laughs> kind of a little bit of planning as well. I said on the 4th of January, I'd come back and I'd, you know, do my thing. But I was starting to feel earlier that I was just so, I just needed to switch off. So it was like, OK, you get an extra time, you get extra like hours today to just do nothing. And I had to really kind of go, right, I'm going to trust. I want to trust myself that I'm not behind. I'm on track by going back to bed. And I went back to bed for a good couple of hours, by the way, which is not like me, but I really needed to do it. Um, and I slept for some of that time and I trusted. And I and by the way, choose to trust. You don't, it's not just like, oh, you trust, choose to trust it. You were choosing it. You're saying, I choose to trust that by allowing myself to do this, it's going to allow me to expand. It's going to allow me to move into my next now moment. And you're never behind. So they also want to share this. They always share this. You are never behind. You're absolutely on track. What if you were to fully trust that you are always on track? You, there is no such thing as behind. Because how do you know by by being where you are and slowing down, you've just opened up the doorway to other things that could never have come in if you were over here rushing. Right. So this is not linear. So this year is going to be a very good lesson in not being linear. 